Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and welcome to another Beyblade Burst unboxing and review. This time I have Hasbro's Beyblade Burst. This is the single pack, or booster, of Doom Sizer. So here's the front of the packaging, very small packaging. You can see the Beyblade right here in front of you. Um, it does not come with a launcher or a ripcord, that's what it means for uh, booster packs. Uh, so here's the Beyblade Burst logo, and Doom Sizer is an attack type. And here's a little ad for the app. This does come with a code which I will give away during the unboxing. And here on the bottom right corner is the Hasbro logo. On the back showing you all the stats of this Beyblade. Also a basic stadium for your Bay Battles. And you can see that it has a lot of attack, uh, 3 burst rate, no defense, pretty good amount of weight, a lot of agility, and 1 stamina. Even though this is an attack type, it's actually really good for stamina, which I'll go over later. So. Here are the parts of the Beyblade, the energy layer, forge disc, and performance tip. And that's pretty much it. Let's get to unboxing. And this is everything out of the packaging. Of course, you got your set of instructions and your Beyblade. Once again, this does not come with a launcher or a ripcord. So let's start off with the energy layer for the Beyblade. Doom Sizer. Basically representing uh, the Grim Reaper. Uh, you, you see a really cool face in silver, a skull with a yellow eye. You got this uh, red detail right here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent, but uh, still looks really awesome. And I really like the purple on the edges as well. I think that's going to look really cool when it's spinning. Here's a bottom view. That is the code for the Beyblade Burst app, and you get this Beyblade inside of the game. All right, so this is supposed to be an attack type, but as you can see, uh, there are points of attack right here, but they are very, very small. A lot of people use this for um, defense, or not defense, stamina, because of the way it's shaped. It's really smooth all around, so it's going to be a little bit more aerodynamic and not have an, uh, a lot of drag when it spins. So yeah, pairing this with like a gravity disc or heavy disc and also a revolve uh, performance tip or driver is really you got a really good stamina type combo right there but uh yeah uh so yeah that is doom sizer next up we have the forge disc this one is named d13 also known as oval o for oval and for its obvious shape so you got a lot of the weight on the outside here it kind of reminds me of um, flash sagittario if you put it in attack mode next up we have the performance tip this is TA01, also known as Excel. I really like this color. Nice red color. Basically, it's a flat tip. And yeah, that's your basic attack type uh, performance tip. And before I put that Beyblade together, I'm going to compare the layers. So as mentioned many, many times before, the only difference, well, the major difference is that Hasbro has slopes to lock in. and Takara told me has teeth, as you can see right there. And not much uh, difference in plastic. Not even for like where uh, Hasbro tends to fill in spaces. They pretty much look the same. And I think they're pretty much the same size too. I don't see anything that are like sticking out or if there's an extra point or anything like that. And here are the differences in the colors and the stickers. If only that, if only Hasbro had better looking plastic, I. I'd probably choose this over Takara Tomy. I really like the silver paint on the skull. It looks really cool. All right, so let's put Doom Sizer together. All right, time for a spin test and test battle. So for this spin test, I'll be using the Super Grip Launcher and the Epic Rivals Base Stadium. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so it is an attack type, I didn't pull the ripcord as hard as I could, but uh, it still holds a really good pattern in this space stadium. Time for a test battle, Wyvron versus Doom Sizer. 3, 2, 1, go! Double burst! Round 2! Oh, 
and Wyvern takes that round. Round three. And there we have it, a burst finish. That was a nice one. So that is it for my unboxing and review of Hasbro's Beyblade Burst Doom Sizer. What do you guys think about this Beyblade? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.